All right, everybody, how's it going? All right, today's Tuesday, uh, the 21st, and I delivered two loads yesterday. I delivered one load today, and then when I was there picking my load up, I noticed that, that you know my load for tomorrow was ready. So I went back there, picked it up, and delivered it, and then I got me an empty trailer. And so I'm sitting here um, in Grand Rapids, Michigan, and I'm going to pick my next load up tomorrow morning. And I'm going to take that up to uh, Wisconsin. So then after that, uh, you know, I got one I got to pick up. And I'll stay in Wisconsin. And then on Friday, I will come back to Michigan, back to the house. All right, so I did the video, uh, you know, for the Truck and Software Business Manager Program. Okay. The only problem is, is that I did it with the the, the uh, phone. And what I got to do is I got to buy myself a video camera. Dump Truck Bob gave me a, a, a good camera to get, a Sony. So I'm going to go check that out. And uh, uh, because, see, I put the camera up on a, on a little, or the phone up on a little stand <clears throat> to get the software program. And when I was looking at the computer, you really couldn't see it very well. So I, I try to do it by hand. You know, here I am holding the, can, the phone up like this. I'm taping on the computer trying to get it to work. And it's just not a quality product. And I don't really want to put it out there. I mean, I it's done. I could put it out there if you really want me to. But uh, I'd rather wait. And uh, when I get to Green Bay, I'm going to go to a couple stores and, and look at the cameras and probably get me one. And then reshoot it. You know, that way I can uh, mount it and I can zoom it in because it's more of a real camera. And... Uh, then you know send it up so that's what i'm going to do uh you know so basically <clears throat> you know, i watch other youtube channels and uh, you know i wish little guy trucking sure i wish him uh good luck there because he was at raven i guess before and then he went to prime and he tried the prime um, deal out <clears throat> well uh then he's back at raven well, everybody that knows uh, and watch my channel, they know what I think about, uh, you know, people uh, doing lease purchases at companies where you can't pick your own freight. Um, they just don't work. They don't work that well, okay? Uh, some people make them work. Yes, that's true. Some people get lucky. Um, there's another YouTuber uh, that uh, is over there at Prime. Mark, you know, he's, he's showed his numbers. <clears throat> he's done pretty good, but, he, you know, they didn't utilize him. Um, very efficiently or he could have done a lot better you know and, and that's the key see if, if you got other people dispatching you and I can't say it enough guys if you got another, somebody else dispatching you a company dispatching you um, there's no way you can efficiently run your business okay uh, there's only two real companies out here that you has a vast um, freight pool to pick from uh, you know where you can pick your own freight I, I've heard, you know, there's another one I heard, uh, you know, I've seen some guy show a, a screen of Mercer or something like that, but I'm really not sure if that's a real pick-your-own-freight system, yeah, I mean, you know, um, <clears throat> but, uh, you know, so there's only really two companies that have the big freight pool, okay? Um, then you know that, uh, you know, what I think each one of those companies so, and I still stand behind that. You know, even if you buy your truck from a bank or uh, even if you, you own your truck um, and you don't have your own authority, then you should partner with a company where you can pick your own freight and that way you're in control over how much money you make. All right, so enough of that said. Um, if you're in, if you're looking into this industry and you want to go to a truck driving school, all right, do your homework. The same thing I tell all these other guys, you know, you got to do your homework. You got to know your cost per mile. Uh, you know, include your home expenses in there so you know your total cost per mile to operate that business, um, to pay all your, your, all your truck expenses, all your home expenses. And that way, you know, if you t if it comes out to, let's say, a dollar ten a mile, you know that anything over a dollar ten a mile, you, it's all profit. You're making money. So, uh, you know, know your cost. 
So just like if you're looking to get in this business and you're gonna to go to a truck driving school, same concept, okay? Uh, go to these schools, check them out. Make sure that they uh, got decent equipment. Uh, make sure, that the number one thing is make sure they're an accredited school, okay? And once you find a good accredited school and you think it's good, do some more homework. Call the big carriers. Call the Schneiders, the JBs, the the Warners, the Cretes, the um, you know Celadons, the US Express. You're the big carriers, and see if they accept that school. Because if the big carriers do not accept that school, more than likely it's not a very good school, um, or it's not accredited. Okay, and, and then a lot of the you know for all the new guys, a lot of these big companies. They will reimburse you if it's a school that they accept. Uh, a lot of them have the reimbursement program, okay? Which means if, if they reimburse you, it means you have to go and work for them for a certain amount of time. The average is usually about a year. And uh, that way, if you leave after that year, you don't owe them anything uh, for them reimbursing you for your school. All right, so, and then uh, new guys that want to get right into it, and become owner operators uh, you know you need to do some time and, and you know some companies they let you be owner operators as early as six months um, some of them you know take you right off the bat uh, you know into their lease purchase deals and those have dispatchers those places that you know I'm not going to say their names but uh, there are a few of them <clears throat> but anyway, uh, while you're, hey, while you are a company driver, do your homework. Okay, so learn your cost per miles, learn what it costs to, uh, you know, operate that truck. Uh, you know, learn everything about the trucking business you can, because it's going to help you when you become, you, you know, when you, when you do that transition to become an owner operator. Um, you're still going to have a lot to learn. But if you do that, I mean, you're way ahead of a lot of people that's been driving for years and years and years, and they decide they want to be an owner operator, but they have no clue. They're just out here driving. Any, you know, a lot of people can drive, you know, and, and they, a lot of them still make it, but they're not a true business owner because they really don't know uh, none of the um, the factors of it, you know, none of the numbers. Uh, they just drive, and uh, but there's a lot of them that. Um, can drive but but they're not a business person and they and they fail uh, because they don't do their homework all right so enough of that uh, video here um, like I said I, I do have that one software program you know is videoed uh, but I really don't want to put it up because um, I'd rather put up more of a quality product and if you guys hold on you know I'll, I'll get that camera and put that up there um, but if you're you know if, I, if you, all you guys that watch my videos and you decide you want to come over to the company where I'm at and uh, you fill out an application, uh, I'm going to leave my driver ID number in the description box. Uh, put that on the referral line if you want to, or if you call the recruiting department and they ask you if someone referred you, uh, you know, I'd appreciate if you put my number down. Uh, you don't have to. Um, you still email me. I still talk to everybody. I, I'll still help you. Um, that's no problem. Uh, but a lot of guys I know that have come over, they've contacted me and said, yeah, I'm over here, but you know, I didn't know your last name or I didn't know your driver ID number. Um, so, you know, I, I didn't get, I don't get that referral, but that's okay, I still talk to them, I still help them out because that's what these videos are for and, and that's why um, I will contact you. I'm about one of the only ones out here that I know of on, on these YouTube channels that will actually call you back, email you and, and talk to you. All right, so uh, enough said. Everybody have a good, uh, safe trip out there, and uh, we'll talk to you later. See you.